There was once a family of wolves who had a baby that didn't fit in. They made him do everything for them. He hunted while they relaxed and didn't do anything. But when he was older, he put his paw down and decided to leave his family. While he was away, he met his mate. The other wolves didn't know how to hunt. Instead, they had to eat wild parsley. Eventually, though, the wolf came back to his family. He apologized and begged for the wolf's forgiveness. Maybe that rascal family of his will finally learn how to hunt. so many. My old Uncle Jimmy was fed to their children. <laughs> Traumatic experiences. Come on, you guys, move! Uh, no, no, no. I don't think that's very good either, sweetie. Um, that worm is just very free because it's on the bottom of the food chain, basically. Birds eat worms. And <laughs> get back to carrot 13. You know you need dinner for tonight. Hey, Worm, where do you think you're going? Like, come on, uh, you're for dinner. I mean, um, you're invited to our dinner party. T don't blow it. Sorry. Um, yeah, so where are you going? <laughs> you're not going anywhere, little Worm. Come here. Come here to the big, vicious crows that are totally not going to eat you. Like, we just want to have some talk, maybe a cup of tea. Like, where are you going? Hey, um, crows, nice trio talk, but <laughs> I gotta get moving to some inchworms interest you. <laughs> uh, you know, worm ale, I'm that skinny, yeah, I'm that skinny worm, <laughs> and I cower in bushes, afraid of birds, so maybe, uh, uh you guys don't want one worm, <laughs> Let's do so what it is. <laughs> Bye, crows. I'm just going to um get dressed for this um, fancy dinner party you're hosting. See you later. Uh, okay, then. What is this thing? Shiny, sparkly. Looks like some kind of carrot. Hmm. Kind of want to try it. Well, if it's edible. Because, you know, I really don't want to die. But, um... <laughs> 
this for science, you know? Yes, we take a risk. Uh, worms, like how I just kind of nearly escaped that worm. I mean, bird, yeah, because I'm totally the worm here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try it now. Is that fur? Fluff? What is am I turning into? Wait. Buff teeth? Tall ears? Tiny nails? I'm a rabbit! Yes! Yes! Now I don't have to worry about birds and don't need to worry about anything. Being a rabbit in Central Park is amazing! I will totally live up my life to the fullest and... What is that? Is that fail smell? I, I really smell something in those bushes. Ugh. Ugh. What is that smell? Is it <gasps> meat? Why would there be a huge chunk of dead animal in a bush? Me, <laughs> it don't really care though now, so uh, uh, that really doesn't disturb me at all. Like totally. Uh um. <laughs> Tim, Jim, and Tria, I think we should really get going because, um, wink, wink, there's a rabbit, and you know who lives behind the bush in that big cave, big cat ears, huh, kind of big, name starts with the C. Wait, cougar? My lord, child, come on. Don't you want this rabbit, aka worm, to get eaten? He's so annoying. Yeah, and it won't be us, because Cougar is totally not going to like eating small crows for dinner. Like, come on, stop talking, get a move on. I shouldn't be scared of bears. It's not like they'd be able to do anything to me. Hey, bears. Um. Oh. Oh. Now I know that I should always be careful of bears.